guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey if you are new and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video. So today I am going to be doing a review, palette review of Adeline Warren X Tarte palette. I've been so excited to get this palette. Basically, we're gonna do a palette review. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the big red subscribe button at the bottom and click the bell notification to notify you every time that I post a new video, and let's get into the video. So, basically, the palette, I think it was $39.99 or something around that price. Um, the tax came out to like 42 whatever, so it wasn't really bad. Um, it was a really good price for what you're getting. The packaging is phenomenal and beautiful, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, it is, of course, yellow um, because she's the queen of yellow, if you did not know. Um, she's really just... Everything about her is so vibrant and beautiful, and I love her so much. I've been an Adelaide Angel for years now. So, um, basically, it's got this little, like, these little lemons that are, like, holographic, and they're really pretty this, with this little gold outlining, and then on the back, it's got a little profile of her, a little picture of her, and the little blue, um, little blue symbol for her dog. I do really love the bio that she did on the back of this. I heard that she took a really long time to come up with it so it shows her hard work shows and I'm obsessed with it and then on the top it just shows all of the colors that are in the palette so you open up the palette and the same um, graphic from the outside of the box is on the palette and it's still that gold reflective and it says Adeline Moore and Tarte on the front and then on the back as well it's got the little blue emoji and it also is cruelty free. All, I think all Tarte products are cruelty free. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. And this says it's good for 12 months after you open it. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. You open up the palette and it's got a little clear cover to cover all of the colors. Um, and it says Adeline X Tarte on it and it's got little lemons. I love this detail because not a lot of people will like detail that paper. A lot of the times it's just clear and I love that she put the extra like touch in to do that. I think it's really cute and very on brand for her. Um, and then you have all of these beautiful colors. I'm literally obsessed with all of them. I can't say anything wrong about any of them. Um, they are so pretty. It smells like vanilla cupcakes which I love and it's not super strong um, I am gonna swatch these for you guys um, it comes with nine nine eyeshadows over here and then a blush and a highlighter so it is a full face palette it's beautiful um, the mirror is very good quality um, hi you can see me in the mirror so it came out on April 7th. So I am going to go ahead and swatch these for you. So I'm going to start out with Adeline Jules. It's just a very good base color. You can't really tell. Um, I can't really, you can't really see it on here. Um, it's very, very light. So um, it shows up on my skin. Like I can see it on here, but you can't really see it. Um, on the camera for some reason. I think it might be because I'm very, very pasty. So, sorry, no hate. Um, it works really well on my eyes. Um, I actually do have um, the Adeline X Tarte palette on. Um, I did like a little pop of yellow and a lot of the oranges, like contour and boss lady on the inside of my eyes. Um, I did do this earlier, so it's a little bit faded, but it is it's stayed on pretty well like especially the yellow in the corner has stayed on so much better than any yellow that I've ever tried so I'm very happy with that um but that was Adel Angels the next one is contour um this one you will definitely be able to see because it is very very orange um that's what it looks like right now it is um a very like coppery bronzed orange color and it's really really pretty 
Um, and all these colors blend magnificently, like so well. They're so good. So that's contour. The next one is Law of Attraction, which is super pretty. She said she wanted to mix Promise Ring, which is a highlighter, and Law of Attraction together for like a Fenty Beauty like highlighter, which I can totally see. But I probably would not be using, oh wow, okay. I have never actually like sat down and swatched all of these. This is so pretty. I, I've i used this on my eyes, but it doesn't show like, I don't know, maybe it doesn't show as well or maybe I just haven't been using it the right way. I'm still new to, me to makeup, so maybe I was just not using it the right way. But this is what, um, what Law of Attraction looks like. It's a very shimmery gold color. It's very, very pretty and very, very bright. Like, it shows up so well. And another thing that she said with this palette is that she wanted it so everybody could use it, every skin tone, and I totally agree with that. This palette works so well with my skin tone, and I'm so white, like, so, like, I need to tan really, really bad. But eventually, like in the summertime, I think it'll work really well. Um, I think it works really well on tan skin tones because she's tanner and she's seen it or she's used it in her videos and it's so pretty. So I think it's working really well on all bases. So if you're worried about it not working for you, I wouldn't because it literally works for everything. Um, so the next, the next um, color is Mama Morin, which is this little maybe if it'll focus this little nudish pinkish color and it is named after Adeline's mom of course mama Morin. um it's probably one of my favorite colors in the whole palette because it's so basic like you can use it for anything and like she said she was going to use or that her mom needed a color that she could just pop on and go to work in the morning and I totally agree I've done this a couple times and it's worked really really well so I'm really glad that she came up with a color like that for this palette so this is what the color looks like Mama Morin it is the farthest one down from my wrist but it's a lot more pinky than orange so the other one is a little more orange this one's a little more pink um like I said it's very like one of my favorite colors and I'm so glad that she put so many um, matte colors as well as shimmer colors in this palette because a lot of the palettes nowadays only have shimmer colors and you need that matte base to kind of tone down or blend in makeup looks so I'm really really glad Ooh. sorry guys I'm filming this at like nine o'clock at night after full days of work so sorry about that but i'm really glad that she put equal amounts of matte colors and shimmer colors in this so you can use it for basics or for an extravagant look or something that isn't your normal day look okay so the next color is red eye flight it is this this middle color right here, it's about like a very darkish maroon shimmer color. And it is very, very pretty. Um, all of these colors are very, very pretty. But it is got a little more reddish to it. It's tint reddish um, maroon. It is very pretty on the finger as you can see. I don't know if this is gonna focus. If you can see that, it's so shimmery. But this is the next color. It is the farthest one down on my arm. And it is the Red Eye Flight color. And I haven't used this color quite a bit yet, but I definitely will. It looks like so pretty with this whole palette. And now that I'm putting them in swatches, I can see it so much better. Like they look so much better. Um, then maybe I just haven't been putting them on right but um I also have a very weird skin type like a lot of like powder highlighters don't work on my skin and I'll get into that more later in the video but we're gonna keep swatching we're gonna go to beat bop which is like her catchphrase um it is this very very dark brownie maroon color and it is a matte shade 
um, it is a matte shade. This It's this one right here. And I've used this one a lot on my inner corners or my creases just to give it a little bit of de um, dimension. Um, it looks a lot more brown on the finger than it does on this, like on my arm or on my um, eye. But this is what it looks like. It is this darkest one all the way to the end. And it is very, very pretty. It's very good for inner corners and I just love it. The next one is gonna be Girl Supporting Girls. This by far is my favorite shade in the entire palette. I've been looking for a yellow that pops and of course the Queen of Yellow did not disappoint. It is fantastic and it stays on all day. That's my favorite thing. Now given I do use a eyeshadow primer, but most of the time my inner corners I don't put eyeshadow primer on just because I don't know, I just don't think about it. Um, but I have had this on all day and you can see the yellow is still on there and it is fantastically bright, it's beautiful and it is very like good, like it's very sunshiny, it's very happy um, and it just makes me like smile. Like when I see it, I just think of Adeline and it's just so pigmented, it is insane. Like look at that yellow, it is so bright. So this is the yellow, this is Girls Supporting Girls, which is literally the bomb.com. I love this color. It is my favorite color in the entire palette. And I don't know, this just wouldn't be an Adeline palette if it wasn't, if there wasn't a bomb yellow in it. So I'm so glad she put this in the palette. The next color is gonna be Boss Lady, which is this bright orange at the bottom. If this okay well it's not gonna focus but this is the bright bottom this one is very very bright it is a very it's almost like a rusty rusty orange which is really pretty um, I've heard that she was very specific in making this color so I'm very um, glad that she was because I just love it I'm not one to wear a lot of oranges on my my skin normally but I think she did a fantastic job with this one and it really pops and it also is a matte shade. The last eyeshadow in the palette is called Beautiful Magical Wonderful. And if you don't know Adeline, that is what she says at the end of every video is have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. That's what she always says, like ever. I don't know. You couldn't ask for anything more in the palette. More in, get it? Yeah. Okay, the bronzy metallic shimmer this is the last one it is beautiful magical wonderful so let's talk about this highlighter for a minute this is by far one of my favorite highlighters when it is on my finger and I don't mean to hate I'm just trying to be completely honest of what it does on my skin like my skin could be completely different from anybody else's skin I'm not saying don't get the palette I'm not saying that it isn't a good highlighter because it is. So this one might be a little bit too glittery for my face, but this is the highlighter and is blinding on my finger, blinding. Um, I will show it to you. This is the highlighter. Maybe, oh, okay. So it shows up on my nose a little bit when I am in lighting. So I guess maybe it does show up on my face. And I just am not using it right. I've been using it with a brush. Maybe I will try to use it with my finger next time because um, it seems to be working a lot better when I use my finger because you can see that that is beautifully blinding okay take back everything I just said this is all because I don't know how to use makeup case closed sorry promise ring is beautiful Adeline you did a fantastic job so thank you guys again for watching the video I hope you love it and if you love this palette review go get that palette go Check out Adeline's channel for more info, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.